at Northrop and Johnson, we really do have some very successful individuals who come from a sailing background. And in fact, we're often requested to represent the owners of Norta's Swan Sailing Yachts. These are widely considered to be one of the finest builders in their class. When Northrop and Johnson were asked to represent the 100-foot Norta's Swan Hopitos, I decided to not only film the yacht, but also to understand a little about the background of Sean McCarter. He's the broker representing her. I got into yachting because I didn't have a choice. I, I grew up on boats since before I can remember and to be honest didn't like sailing until uh, maybe the age of nine or ten when we started racing little dinghies and it, it became fun uh, as, a, as a really good activity with friends. Once the bug of racing caught on in little dinghies, I guess, we became more and more competitive. We started moving into bigger and bigger boats. I did a lot of events around the UK and Ireland uh, through sort of high school and, and into university sailing team until eventually graduating and deciding I wanted to pursue a career in professional sailing. I moved, the most obvious choice was to move to Valencia where the America's Cup was being held at that time. I spent uh, two or three years on, on the eventual winner of the uh, 2007 America's Cup, uh, Alinghi, on their, one of their corporate boats and that opened my eyes to the world of uh, super yachting. Went from there, ended up getting my first full-time job on a, a large sailing yacht where we cruised and, and raced around the Mediterranean mostly. Finished up there and got uh, another job as a full-time engineer, which was which is really important, I think, in the scheme of things, because it gets you a, an understanding of the boat from the sort of bottom up. And as we know, being able to sort of fix all the little day-to-day -day problems that seem to come up on boats has, has come in useful over the years. So, a man with serious hands-on knowledge of what it takes to run a large sailing yacht with experience at the highest level, including at least two round the world trips, by the way. We'll hear how he became a yacht broker at the end of this video. But first, let's hear him tell us about Hopitos. Hopitos is an amazing boat. It is a Swan 100, which is one of only three flush decks ever made. So from 2006, would have been a super yacht of her day with a really uncluttered, what they call flush deck. Absolutely beautiful boat made to the highest standards by Nodder Swan in Finland, who you know are still recognized as one of the best builders in the world. Hapatos is special in a number of reasons. She's from 2006, but shows almost as new, in that she's had the same owner for the last eight or 10 years. He uses her very little for summer cruising in and around the Balearics generally. No charter, no racing, which means the crew have plenty of time in the off season to maintain and, and basically keep her showing in, in really impressive condition. The layout on Hopitos is in some ways really good in that for a boat of her age, she's got a modern layout with the owner cabin forward or master forward. An offset double bed with a separate shower and ensuite head in front. And a sofa on the port side. If you come back through the boat, there's a VIP guest double on the port side ensuite and a really nice spacious twin cabin on the starboard side. Then you come further back into the main saloon. It's quite a big saloon with, with a really cool saloon table that I'm sure you can, maybe eight or ten people can dine comfortably around. 
table actually drops down with uh, the cushion and a, a huge big lounge area to have a sort of cinema night, which I always think is quite cool. A uh, TV on port side. Further back on the port side is the galley, which goes through to the crew area. So generally the, the layout's quite nice in that the, all the guests are forward and the crew have the back sort of third of the boat to themselves for a galley, navigation and crew area. Hopatos's interior I would say is very traditional swan in that you go down and it's a nice stained teak effect. So a little a sort of dark, really rich dark wood. Sean spoke from experience though of the racing heritage of Nautus Swan Yachts, but mentioned that the current owner has not used her in this way. So I asked him whether a future owner could successfully race with Hopitos if he or she wished to. I know Hopitos would, could be a great option to race uh, in super yacht regattas and bucket events. In fact, I have a, a good friend at North Sales who came back a, a year or two ago from winning the Maxi Championships in Porto Cervo. And we'd, before the event, we'd been discussing sales for Hopitos. And uh, he made a point to come up to me and said, you know, if you had brought that boat with a new set of sails to the Maxis, you would have been the only people we were worried about competition-wise. So I haven't raced her personally, but I, I think there's huge potential there. Hopitas got a few innovations, one uh, which I really like and maybe not ahead of her time but the, the hydraulic lift keel is hugely beneficial in that for a hundred foot yacht she can go down to three and a half meter draft which grants her access to lots of the smaller harbours and while anchored at beaches cruising it means she doesn't have to be right out the back of the anchorage miles away from the actual beach. And the other side of that is that she can then fully extend her keel down to a depth of five and a half meters, which gives her a huge performance boost, uh, especially upwind. It's a real, real advantage and it's, it's a sort of extra that's a significant cost and engineering cost to a boat that, that not many people can afford to go for. So uh, having it there in, in Hopitos is a, is a huge benefit. Almost every system has been upgraded and replaced over the years. Most recently was the AV system, so everything's now what you would expect in touchscreen, wireless, Sonos, flat screen, which, you know, from a, for a 2006 boat is quite a step up. The condition of Hopitas is, is really impressive, and it's for Adam, the captain on board, and the crew, they should be proud of it quite active in the Swan market and, and the 100 market, yeah, being aware of two of her sister ships quite intimately and, and Hopitas is without a doubt the, the, the best of the bunch that I know intimately. She's the kind of boat where the, you, you don't get surprises, you can, you can feel free to open any hatch or poke behind any engine or in any bilge and you can be guaranteed of a shiny freshly painted surface or a, a new generator for instance in the, in the aft glass. She really presents really well. The standard of build of Hopitos at her time would have had no equal. This is a sensational sailing yacht, represented by an experienced sailing yacht professional who knows not only how to transfer ownership to you, but also how to use the yacht to her full potential so that you can enjoy ownership. So many people watching this channel dream of one day being a yacht broker. So to conclude, I thought you may be interested to hear how Sean transitioned from sailor to broker. I took a job with my then girlfriend and we headed off around the world. We had a, an old Swan 76, which we did, uh, I think, around the world trip in 18 months and had a, a really fantastic time. 
and then yes, it's just been sailing really ever since. I, I've done another round the world trip since, not as pleasant as the first one in a race capacity with the Clipper Yacht Race. It was a little bit less time in nine months and a little bit more hectic, but enjoyable nonetheless. Uh, and that opened the door to some more racing opportunities, which is, which is really where the, the pass passion and excitement is. After the last round the world trip, my, uh, I took a job on a Swan 80 and it was listed for sale by Northrop and Johnson. And I became friendly with the broker over the years, uh, or over the year or two that it was for sale. And he was getting ready for retirement and I used to tell him that it, he'd need somebody young and keen to, to look after his clients once he was uh, sipping margaritas on, on the beach somewhere. So you've got to be careful what you wish for.